let's actually do just a little bit of math. So if I were to ask you right off the bat this problem, 6 times 89, I don't want you to really do it, but I want you to think about what you would do. What strategies do you have in your repertoire to bring to bear? If you only have the standard algorithm as a strategy, may I offer you something else? So that was 6 times 89, right? You're going to help me remember that. Okay, so 6 times 89. I'd like to actually think about the problem 6 times 9. Does anybody know 6 times 9? Don't say that loud, don't say that loud. It's pretty Or say that loud. <laughs> Alright, is 6 times 9 54? Alright, so we know now. We could talk. We could talk about how you can figure that out um, really quickly. 6 times 9. Could, could we think about if we need, let's see, 6 9s? Could we think about 5 9s? You'd have to know 5 9s, but if we know 5 9s is. 45, if we add one more 9 to that 45, we get 54, that'd be a way to think about it. So we're going to sort of uh, say that we've got 6 times 9 here. Well, do you know what 6 times 90 is? Don't say that loud. <laughs> if 6 times 9 is 54, what's 6 times 90? Is that 540? Okay. And if 6 times 90 is 540, I wonder what 6 times 89 is. Let me say that a different way. If I know that 96 is, this is 540. Then I wonder how many 89 sixes is. Don't say that loud. <laughs> Seriously. So if I if I know 90 sixes is 540. You got 90. 90 of the 90 sixes. What if I only want 89 sixes? How many less sixes do I need? What is 540 less 1 6? What is 540? Get rid of 6. Go ahead now. Is that 534? Is that, is that 534? That's an example of using numeracy in relationships to solve a problem. Let's do another one. Yeah, isn't that fun? What if I were to ask you for 9 times 5? 9 times 5 is everybody? 45. So what comes next? What's 9 times 50? 450. We can talk about how you do that, but we're not going to do it at the moment. What's then 9 times 49? Don't say that loud. I'd like you to think, and when you're ready, and the person next to you is ready, don't talk till they're ready. Turn to the person next to you, talk about what is 9 times 49 and how you've gotten some thinking first. When they're ready, you can talk. All right, can somebody explain to me, first of all, what'd you get? 9 times 49 is? 4. 41. 41. 41. And how'd you do it? Who can explain how they did it? Nice and loud. 450 minus what? Because you only have 49 sets of nonces. <laughs> so keep talking. 50 subtract one set of nonces. From? From 450. Can somebody say that again in their own words or repeat what? What April just said. Can you repeat what April said or say in your own words how you describe what you just did? I did 50 minus 9. What? <laughs> so, in other words, you're talking about how you did the 450 minus the group of 9. You just thought 50 minus 9, that's where I'm at, but I know I got that 400 thing around. Nicely said. But why did you do 50 minus 9? Why, where did the 450 come from? In other words, if you're walking down the street and you run into the problem 9 times 49, thou shalt solve 9 times 49, and, and you have nothing, right? Then what would you think of first? Because we, I gave you some things to use. Well, could you find those fairly fast? Could you say to yourself, let's see, 9 times 49. Hey, I know what 9 times 5 is. Therefore, I know what 9 times 50 is. All right, that's 450. But I don't need 59s. I only need 49. And I can just get rid of that one 9 because I want one less 9. All right, last but not least, what if I were to ask you for 7 times 6? Everybody yell out loud? 42. So what is 7 times 60? So what is 7 times 59? What's a 20? <laughs> 20 minus 7 is 13. Yeah, 413. What if I were to, now I know, I, I, just hang with you for a second. What is a tenth of 7? Or, thinking about another way, what is 7 times a dime? What if I had 7 dimes? 
Seven dimes? Hey, that's just 70 cents, right? No problem. So what if I were to ask you for seven times 59.9? Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Everybody think for a second. So I know 50, I know 67s, right? I know 67s are 420, but I want a tenth less than that. A tenth of 7 less than that. Hey, I know what a tenth of 7 is. So what is 420 minus 0.7? Well, 420 minus 70 cents. Is that 419.30? Hey, look at the problem you just solved using relationships. Multiplication of decimals using relationships among numbers. Everyone go like this. <laughs> Not only is that cool and powerful, but it is within all of our reach. We all can do that. Now, I did a specific example that I knew would fly really fast with a large group, but we're going to do lots of work all week long to get you to be able to do exactly this kind of thing. Now, remember, mental math does not mean that you do it all in your head. Mental math means that you do it with your head. So if you need to write stuff down to keep track of your mental steps, that is perfectly legal. Yeah, really, you will see me keep track of my mental steps, and you'll think, oh, she's writing that so that I can see. No, it's actually because I need it. <laughs> so I need to keep track of what I'm doing in my head. I can't keep all that stuff in my head, but I can use my head, not just some memorized way of doing stuff.